Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Prophetess Tiffany Miller, and welcome to Prophetic Utterance. I thank you guys for stopping back by and for tuning in to this audio broadcast on this morning. And first off, I would like to say happy Thanksgiving to each and every last one of you out there. Happy Thanksgiving. I pray that you have a great day on today. Enjoy your time with your family and your friends. And to those that are missing loved ones, my heart goes out to you guys. And I just pray God's peace be with you on today. Um, I thank you guys for coming back. Um, you guys, I have a prophetic word of wisdom on this morning. Um, upon me arising out of my sleep, the Holy Spirit began to deal with me concerning wife mode. And as he's talking to me, I, I really felt led in my spirit to come and release this video here on YouTube. So I am here this morning on Thanksgiving morning, which I didn't even have any intent or intention or plans to come. But the Holy Spirit apparently has a message he wants to relay out to somebody on today. Um, you guys know that I am on the road to 1K subscribers. Listen, you guys, I, I'm, I'm everybody's been doing well with, with hitting that subscribe button. I appreciate it. But if you're coming on, please like, comment, subscribe and share this broadcast out. <clears throat> I would love to go live one day. And I know when it's the Lord says it's okay, now is the time, it'll be the time. But I need your help to do that. So before I get started in the word, let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for every listener on today. I thank you for every person's steps who this video is meant to hit, that their ears will hear it. And Father God, I ask that you open up the hearts and minds of your daughters so that they are able to receive and get a crystal clear understanding as to what the spirit of the Lord is saying unto them regarding wife mode and a new mindset. Father God, I thank you for directing the right women or the right people here to this YouTube broadcast. You don't make mistakes. As I decrease, Holy Spirit, I ask that you increase. Holy Spirit, I invite you in. For surely I can do nothing until you come. I invite you in on this YouTube broadcast. And I'm asking you right now to take over my thoughts, to take over my mind, to take over my tongue. Right now, you say what you need to say. I am available and willing to be used. Have your way, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Amen. Today, I'm going to jump right on into what I believe the, the Lord wants me to share today. Today, we're going to talk about the uh, wife mode and a new mindset. This is something I, that the Lord has been dealing with me actually about for a while now. But th this morning as I arose awake and was awakened out of my sleep, like I stated earlier, the Holy Spirit began to talk to me and begin to uh, bring back to my remembrance the method he's taking me through and took me through. So some of the things that I'm going to share are things he's been taking me through currently and things he has already told me to do recently or in the past concerning becoming a wife. And the scripture that I would like to reference, there are two. Um, the first one being Ephesians 4 and 23, King James versions read, and be renewed in the spirit of the mind. The second one is Proverbs 18 and 22. Whosoever findeth a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor of the Lord from the Lord. OK, those are the two scriptures that the Lord dropped into my spirit to share with you all. But anyway, nonetheless, let me let me get started. First, first and foremost, the Lord has been dealing with me. Some of you all may be experiencing experiencing a mind shift, a renewed mind in the area of marriage. And what I mean by that is Lord, the Lord has literally shifted your mind from being a single woman of God 
straight into wife mode, meaning that it's certain things that you did in your singleness or that you may have been doing in your singleness that you're no longer doing now because the Lord is renewing your mind. And for many of us, or for some of us, I should say, this is your first time getting married. This will be your first time getting married when your husband comes. For some of us, if we may already been married before, but you may have been married, but when you got married, to your first spouse, for whatever reason, you're not together now, whether they're deceased, whether they stepped out on you, whether they left you, whatever the case may be. And when you got married to that husband, you were not a godly woman, meaning you were still living in a life of sin. And some of you, it may be a different case, but those are the two types of women that really dropped into my spirit. The ones that who were married, but weren't married in, in got married to a godly man because you weren't a godly woman and to those that have never been married. So even if you were married, whatever your case may be, understand that there is a transformation of the mind taking place. And before God can, can send your husband, you have to already be a wife not walking in the role of a wife, not becoming a wife. You have to be a wife because as I just read in Proverbs 18 and 22, it states, whosoever findeth a wife, when the man finds you, you're already wife mode. And what I, <clears throat> excuse me, and what I believe is taking place right now with many of you, I know I can't be the only one whom the Holy Spirit is shifting the mindset, okay, or is working on the mindset or has shifted your mindset. Um, he's shifting you and he's transforming minds to become a wife into wife mode. He's renewing your mind because for many of you who will enter in this season of marriage or who are in this season of marriage, your 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 wedding, your 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 um your marriage is the new thing. This is the new thing that you're about to step into. This is something that has never been done before. This is something you've never witnessed before. This is something you, a role you've never walked in. So this is a new mantle. This is a new uh, shift. This is a new anointing. My, me personally, I've never been married before. So when I, when my husband comes, this will be my first time entering into a godly marriage. Amen. And the Lord has been preparing me for a while. Life. And um, the things and the method that the Lord has been showing me is that, Tiffany, you know, you 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 don't become a wife when he comes, gets to you, meaning you're already there. So there's some things the Lord begins to shift. And I'm going to be kind of transparent on this broadcast so you'll get an understanding of what I am saying. Now, months ago, maybe five, six months ago, the Lord began to tell me, Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, Tiffany, we're getting ready to clean up your friends list. And I said, okay, Holy Spirit, what exactly do you mean by that? And, and well, first of all, before I even tell that part, let me just say my, my mindset began to change first. The first thing is that I really started to change my mindset. I felt the shift of wife mode take place in my mind, meaning I felt like a wife. I started to, to feel like, God, I feel like I'm a wife. Like, so I started to walk in that anointing and walk in that, in that mindset. First thing, the Holy Spirit shifted and began to renew my mind and say, you know what? Although your husband is not here yet, you're going to carry yourself like he is here. You're going to carry yourself like you are already married to this man. That's the first thing Holy Spirit began to speak to me saying, you're going to carry yourself like you're already married to this man. And I said, okay, Holy Spirit. So then he, he said, we're get ready to clean up your friends list. And I said, well, father, what do you mean by that? He said, Tiffany, you have friends. Yes, I do have friends of the opposite sex. You guys, you know, I have brothers in Christ and stuff like that and so forth. I'm a, a friendly person. A lot of my friends, I hung out with my brothers a lot when I was in the world and doing the things of the world. So all their friends are my friends and stuff like that. I, we don't talk so, but every so often here and there, but it's like, you know, hey, how you doing? Blah, blah, blah. But the Holy Spirit said, let's clean up your friends list. And I said, okay. He said, there are certain men follow my leading because there are certain men you're getting ready to shut down. I said, okay, father, 
whatever you say. So the father began to clean up my friends list. And he said, all right. He said, the next thing he said to me is that you're going to watch how you entertain men on social media. And I said, well, father, you know, what do you mean entertain me, ain't entertaining men? He said, Tiffany, we, we're going, you're going to watch your conversation with these men. You even, even when they get flirtatious with you, come on, ladies, we know how men are. You know, we, we say something, we post a picture, we, we do certain things on social media and men say stuff to us and stuff like that. Or they slide in our DMs, they slide in our messenger, telling us how beautiful we are, telling us how gorgeous we are, having in some kind of conversation trying to get with us come on trying to trying to trying to get to know us a little bit better and sometimes on an off day or on your day of weakness and you lonely you will entertain that foolishness because that's exactly what it is straight foolishness and you'll entertain that but the lord began to tell me we're getting ready to clean all of this up you're going to watch your interaction with men on social media sites i want you to be mindful how you're interacting with them i want to be want you to be mindful of how they they're coming at you, how they're coming for you. He said, we're getting ready to cut out all foolishness right now. And I said, well, Holy Spirit, okay, whatever you say, I'll do it. You lead and I'll follow. So I began to be mindful even of, of what I'm posting, how I'm posting things, even pictures, so to speak, because a lot of men won't comment on your, on your pictures in the public setting, but they'll slide through your DMs. They'll slide in your messenger and tell you how beautiful you are, but won't say it in a public setting. Come on, ladies, y'all. Y'all know how that goes. But anyway, the Holy Spirit say, don't even entertain it because by nature, I am a friendly person. I am very friendly and I am being in the position that I am in. And because I do release out the heart of the father on my social media platforms, when somebody speaks to me and be like, hey, or good morning, woman of God, how are you doing? I'm going to probably speak back to them and be like, good morning. I'm doing well. Thanks for asking something of that nature. But the Holy Spirit said, no, we're getting ready to shut all of that down. And I said, well, all right, Holy Spirit, whatever you say. So he said, we're going to cut out foolishness. And he said, we're going to clean out the phone conversations, which I don't really have phone conversations because there's only a couple of people I talk to and uh, a, a few people, but people will hit my phone randomly that I'm friends with and say, hey, just checking on you. How you doing? And the Holy Spirit began to let me know. He said, because some of my daughters, this is something specifically he told me to release out. He said, some of my daughters, if I brought their husband to them today, some of them will have to change their phone numbers. And I said, what? This is something the Holy Spirit spoke to me this morning. He said some of them would have to change their phone numbers because they're having conversations with other men. They're sitting and they, he said the thing is you're having these conversations with these other men that you know aren't even the one. You know, this is not the God sin. And the Lord is saying, I'm getting ready to clean up your mindset. I'm getting ready to begin to renew your mind right now. So, so some of y'all need you. The Lord is saying, you don't wait for your husband to come to clean up your mess. You begin to clean it up in your singleness. And, and to some, I say, I hear the Holy Spirit saying now to some, I say, I am transforming and renewing your mind into wife mode. And you have got to cut out the middle man. You have got to start stop relying on these men and when you are in your in a place of loneliness you have got to start stop talking to this these men because you're bored you have got to stop talking and entertaining this man because it gives you something to do to pass time you seeing it as innocent fun but the holy spirit said the enemy is going to use that against you because it's delaying you the lord is saying because some of you your husband is watching your interaction for some of you, your husband, my friend, um, sister, Carol McCotts, I hope I'm saying her last name right. She released a video not too long ago entitled, Your Husband is Watching You and Praying for You. And for some of y'all, the reason why this is something else the Holy Spirit let me know. The reason why some of y'all are still single is because your husband has been watching your interaction with other men on social media. And your interaction has not been right. And he's sitting back watching you. And in his mind, he's saying, I hear the Lord saying now, he's saying to me, they ain't ready yet. They're not ready yet. So hear me and hear me well. Some of you ladies have got to cut the middleman out. 
You should be happy with just you and the father alone. You know these men that you're entertaining are not the God sent. You know that they're counterfeits and they're just something to do, sis. To be real, let's be real. But anyway, nonetheless, the Holy Spirit just began to talk to me and to begin to deal with me and to let me know I'm shifting my daughter's mindsets in this hour. And they're being shifted into the new thing. They're being shifted into the new way. They're being shifted into wife mode. And the Lord is saying you have to carry yourself as a wife to be found by a husband. So with me, I began to clean up, what to do whatever the Holy Spirit told me to do. I began to do things as far as who I was entertaining, who I was talking to, who I was just all of that. The Holy Spirit says, because you cannot, when, when my son gets to you, he's not walking into no drama. Come on, ladies. He's not walking in wondering what in the world is going on here. He's not walking in with the mindset, oh my God, she's talking to all these men. The father is saying, that's why some of you are being delayed because you're entertaining too many men, even if they're in the friend zone or friend category that are not the God sent. You cannot entertain them. The Lord is saying, I am ready to release husbands. But for some of you, you have got to clean this up. You have got to be renewed in your mind. So nonetheless, the Holy Spirit began to let me know personally in my own life. Things begin to shift. I felt the shift like I stated. So I began to do things differently. I began to, to watch my interaction. I began to watch what I was doing, even for the men that I knew liked me, even for the men that I knew were, 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 were being, were interested in me. You know what I'm saying? You have to watch your interaction because you don't want to give someone false hope. So even when they would slide in my DMs or my inbox messenger, it, I didn't even entertain the message. Sometimes no response is the best response. And at the end of the day, the Holy Spirit is just saying, I am shifting your mindset. When your husband comes, you will already be a wife. You will already be carrying yourself like he's been there by your side the entire time. I am renewing your mind. And this is the new thing the Lord is saying. This is a part of my holy order. For I shall begin to even shift some of your minds even today. For some of you, this word is a confirmation. For some of you, your mind has not shifted, but this word is going to shift your mind. When you hear it, you're, you're, you're going to be consciously aware of what you're doing from here on out because some of you haven't even been realizing. And I even hear the Lord say, now watch how fast the husband comes. OK, OK, Father, I hear you. Now watch how fast the husband comes. Some of y'all husbands have been watching y'all and y'all interaction is what's been delaying you. Some of y'all, this is God answering your prayer. And you've been asking God, why hasn't my husband come? I'm, I'm ready. I'm in position. I've been doing everything right. But the Lord is saying, who have you been entertaining openly and publicly that your husband can see? Which you shouldn't be entertaining nobody privately anyway. Because the Holy Spirit will put your husband to sleep and show him the private things that are going on in your life and in your world. How do I know? Because the Holy Spirit is a revealer of all things. When, you, when the Holy Spirit, and for some of you that know who your spouse is, you know who your spouse is because the Lord has already revealed him to you. There is no secret thing that your husband could be doing behind your back that the Holy Spirit won't put you to sleep and show you. Trust me, he will reveal all things to you, even the secret things. The Bible decrees there is nothing hidden that shall not be revealed. If you are a woman of God, 
and you're walking up right before God and you're being obedient to God and faithful to God, God will put you to sleep and show you what's going on in your husband's world. He will do it. Why? Because he won't allow anything to slip upon you unaware. That's his job. It's to lead and guide you into all truth. That's the job of Holy Spirit. But I just wanted to come on here and say, that this is the this is a part of the new thing and holy order concerning regarding these kingdom marriages. The Lord just wanted me to come on here and to touch on the renewed mind and the new mindset and wife mode as far as marriage the the, the marriages go. So be mindful of what who you're entertaining, how you're entertaining them. If you know he's feeling you, sis, especially the ones that got the heads up already, who your husband is. If you know this man feeling you and you entertaining him anyway and you know he ain't the one, you're going to be delayed. You're just delaying yourself even the more. Don't entertain people. Be led by Holy Spirit. I'm not saying all men are coming with a, a, an ulterior motive, but be led by Holy Spirit. That's what I'll say, because the Holy Spirit has been leading and guiding me like crazy. And I'm going to say this and I'm going to get off the, another example. Monday, I believe it was Sunday or Monday. I heard very crystal clear. The Holy Spirit said, Tiffany, do not entertain the men that shall come into your inbox this week. I heard it clear. And I said. Okay. I said, okay. And so I didn't think any more of it. And I see why he said it. I had two apostles to come in my inbox with the intent to pursue me. Now, many of you may think, okay, well, you're a woman of God. And, 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 and it, these men are single. Both of them hit my inbox this week, I believe on the same day. And they came for me and I've been friends with these people for a while. And they came for me out of the blue. And they wanted to get to know me better. Like they came with the intent to pursue. They both stated their cases. They both said what they had to say to me. But guess what? I didn't even entertain either one of them. Why? Because Holy Spirit had already gone before me and said, do not entertain the men that will come into your inbox this week. Why? Because they're not it. <laughs> Listen, once you are connected to God, once you are connected to God, when I tell y'all God is shutting it down for my husband, he's literally shutting things down for him. I mean, he, he shuts it down for my husband. Like, so I'm like, God, you know, you really are shutting it down on this man's behalf. You ain't playing about your son because I can't do nothing. Like, it's like the Holy Spirit will tell me, quick, don't entertain that. Shut it down. Don't talk to them. You, I don't want you to talk. Cut it off. I mean, things the Holy Spirit will tell me. And I said, well, God, you shutting it down for this man. But the Holy Spirit said, no. You're not going to, you can't even entertain the counterfeit. He won't even allow you to entertain the counterfeit. And the Lord is saying, just, just watch your interaction. Did I respond? No, I didn't. I didn't even entertain them. Because the Holy Spirit had already gone before me and told me what to do. Why? Because I'm already linked in the spirit with my husband. I'm just ready for him, waiting on him to manifest himself and to come into my life. And when my husband walks in, guess what? He ain't walking in there no drama. He ain't walking in with, with question marks. I wonder, he ain't walking in with me doing this or doing that or mishandling myself, especially in public settings like social media, being, being you know, at, entertaining foolishness. When my husband walk into my life, he needs to be coming ready to wife me. Because I'm already his wife and I've been carrying myself like your wife, which means I've been faithful to you. 
God got me being faithful to you. He got me being loyal to you. He got me honoring you. He got me literally praying for you, interceding for you. He got me doing all these things for you. And I don't even have a ring on my finger. Why? The the, the ring only signifies it's signed, sealed, and delivered. But I'm already your wife. And so therefore, I carry myself. I carry myself like you're walking beside me as my husband. Although you're not there yet, you're there. And I'm going to conduct myself not only in social media settings, but in all settings at the workplace, in church, wherever I go, in the grocery store. However, I'm going to conduct myself like I'm already a married woman because I'm already a married woman. I'm already a wife. Just like we accept Jesus Christ as our personal savior. And we we give him a yes. And we realize on the day of an acceptance, and this is probably going to be a long video, which I didn't intend for it to be, or audio. But when we accept Jesus as our, our personal Savior, we believe in our hearts and confess with our mouth. The wedding day, the Holy Spirit let me know the wedding day is just, just the day of confession. That's just the day of confession and the day you accept the covenant of marriage. That's the day you really put the signature on it. That's the day you put, that's the wedding day. That's the day of confession, the day of the fulfillment, the day of the sealing, the day of the binding of the covenant. But guess what? I'm already married. I'm already a wife. Now my husband just got to come for me. And like I said, that's why when y'all, some of y'all enter into these marriages, y'all husband, some of y'all husband, y'all courtship going to be so quick. It's like, because I definitely ain't looking for no boyfriend. I'm too old for that. I'm like, God, when, when you send him, he needs to be coming ready to wife me, period. He needs to be coming ready to make me his wife, period. Because at this stage and age in the game, I ain't trying to be nothing but a wife. So I just hope and pray that this word of wisdom And that this word has blessed you and helped someone on today. I hope the right people that need to hear it hears this. I thank you for your time. I thank you for your attention. I thank you for tuning in. I thank you so much. And please do not forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. I appreciate you guys. And I hope you have a blessed day. I hope you have a wonderful day. So yes, even though some of us are going to be around family, you might be around guests. You might be around friends and new people, but carry yourself, single ladies, single women of God, like your husband is already there. Watch how you entertaining the opposite sex. Watch what you're doing. Watch what you're accepting from them, too. Y'all have a blessed day and enjoy your day. Bye-bye.